on people. So, uh, ran into a lead on another Honda Goldwing. This one right here is actually a co-worker of mine. Uh, he bought it some years ago for his dad and uh, they just stopped riding it and it's been sitting for I don't even know how many years. I'll have to ask him when I get there. Anyway, we were trying to do a deal on it and um, a couple months ago, early this year, and uh, he was going to file for the paperwork because they lost the title. Somehow he filed for it. I guess it came and they lost the title and things went to another. Now they want it out of the way. It's just sitting up on a lean-to in this uh, backyard. It's been sitting there for so long. And I talked to him the other day. He came up to me and said, hey man, uh, you still want to go in? I was like, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a, I think it's an 86 1200 carbureted, not the fuel injection bottle. So I was like, yeah. And uh, he was like, well, if you want the thing, just come and get it. I want it gone. We're trying to clean it up around the house. And uh, don't know nothing about the title. Don't feel like fooling with it. Just come and get it. So I was like, come and get it for free? And he said, yeah, just bring a trailer, get it out of there. So the pictures he sent me way back when, the bike didn't look too bad. Uh, it's covered in like tree sap, moss looking stuff. So it's been sitting. I don't know the condition of the gas tank, carburetors. You know how them gold wing carburetors is. If you watched any of the videos back several months ago, we had a bunch of 84s and we had the one that had carburetor problems and ended up buying another gold wing for those carburetors. So, but I still got a set of carburetors uh, that I rebuilt that I couldn't figure out what was wrong with. So maybe we can make those carburetors work on this one. So anyway, I'm going to go get it now. Looks like it's going to start raining. I got to go get a big enough trailer to put it on. Because, of course, the S10 trailer is just too sketchy to put something that big and heavy on. So, go get a trailer. I'm going to go over there and get it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to video over there or not. So, maybe I'll just uh, do a video after we get it loaded up and I'm out of there with it. You know, some people don't really like your video on around their house. And uh, stuff like that. It's kind of like privacy. So, we'll just see how it goes. If I don't video, you'll see it while it's on the trailer. And We'll get around to getting it going. I got some other projects I'm working on, so I don't know when I'm going to be able to get to it, but uh, I'm pretty sure we will get to it. We'll get it going. See about getting some paperwork on it, I guess, and maybe somebody can uh, take it and enjoy it. So, Ben, I still got the Gold Wing 1500. I'm not just really in the market for gold wings anymore but since he said I can have it I mean who, who would pass up a free motorcycle uh, you know who would pass that up unless you just you got nowhere to store it or something but I got somewhere to store it so anyway I'm going to scoop up this trailer and go over there and pick it up and uh, we'll see how, how it all turns out so just hang on to your going seats. <laughs> it's another one coming. Here it is, a 1985 Honda Goldwing Interstate. This is the one we got for free. It's been sitting since 2019. As you can see, it's really, really dirty. It's got all that tree sap on it. It's been sitting up on a, like a little lean-to shed. And uh, bike's only got 6,000 miles on it. It's all there. It's got all the, uh, it's got all the boxes on it. Sorry about the noise next door. I'm at the car wash. But uh, it's got these cool little side covers on it. I've never seen that on none of the gold wings. I guess it keeps, uh, I don't know about heat, you just can't see in there. 
but looked like it had an aftermarket radio in it one time. It's got the cup holder, you know, typical gold wing stuff, missing the mirror. Uh, got the Dunlap tires. Seat's not torn, it's got the backrest. Throttle's free on it. Good pipes, no tag. But I think he said it had been sitting since 2019. And he got it, I think he said he got it for his dad. And uh, he rode it the whole year, 2019, and then the bike was just put up. So it's going to need uh, the carburetors cleaned, of course. Hopefully the gas tank ain't toast. Because when I had all those other gold wings, I had a good gas tank. But too late for that. All that stuff's gone. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this car wash if it works and get all this uh, tree sap and stuff off of it. This one don't have the air suspension, I don't think. That's weird. It don't have the air suspension. So that's pretty good. I don't know what's in there. We'll have to do some digging around. But since since 2019, so we'll get to it later. We'll push it to the side. At least we'll get it cleaned up. And uh, I think in here, it's got the uh, armrest. They go up here on the sides. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up and get it cleaned up.
by a little car wash cleaning it did make it a little cleaner I got some of that tree sap and stuff off of it and it looks pretty decent uh, still some more cleanup that can be done the windshield still got some mildew on it but you couldn't even tell it was silver it was kind of like I thought it was gray I should have called it a silver wing but uh like I say, it still needs to be cleaned up a little bit more. The car wash didn't have no change, and I went and got some change, and the gas stations don't like really giving you change unless you buy something. So I went ahead and got what change I could, got the rest of it cleaned off. But uh, I think she's going to be a pretty good bike. He said it was running before they parked it. I don't know. in here where there's the missing glass out of the mirror the helmet bag there's the mirror it's broken off that's the glass out of it so but we can get mirrors they got out the market mirrors I've bought mirrors before but yeah she cleaned up pretty good you can stick any kind of radio in there you want it's already open for it just have to get a stereo kit got some kind of clock over there I didn't see that cup holder uh, like I said I don't know the condition of the you should have cleaned off in there it's got gas in it don't smell that bad he said you might can stick a battery in it and fire it right up That'll be a dime and a dozen there because these things are notorious for the carburetors being bad. But, like I said, it cleaned up pretty good. We'll get it back to the shop. I'm going to put it up for now because I got a bunch of other stuff to do. And as soon as I get a chance, uh, we'll get it around there, stick a battery in it. I'll probably just go ahead and order a battery for it. Still trying to crank it on jumper cables. They don't like jumper cables. They like that direct battery source. Look like it does got rear air suspension, but it don't have a button up there for it. It's been blocked off. Huh, it's weird. But I'll find out the color of it too. Whatever color it is, the silver color. I'm sure Honda's got some kind of color name. But like I said, we'll get it back there and we'll play around with it. So hope y'all enjoyed the uh, Abandoned Go Wing Rescue, and it'll be more to come. I don't think nobody's really gonna want it, so I guess I'll be stuck with it for now. I had those other ones for sale forever, and finally got rid of them. And uh, these things are not really high demand like they used to be. You might find an old timer that wants one. I did have an old timer that traded me that P PC800 for the blue interstate I had but you don't find too many people that wants these they want the at least 15 up 1200s are kind of like a dinosaur but every once in a while you get a bike you know somebody that wants a beginner go wing that's a good beginner go wing so and it's got all the stuff on it the backrest which is pretty cool so anyway I'm gonna get out here quick yabbing yeah, y'all Take it easy. Y'all have a blessed one. And I'll get back with y'all with the 8500 Gold Wing Interstate 1200. So curiosity is killing the cat. I'm going to hook this jumper box to it and just see will it spin over. The gas don't smell too bad in it. No go wing. I mean, I don't see any oil leaks, so I'm not gonna check. So I'm gonna get up here and turn the key on and see. Ah, that battery's so dead. Just jump a box. The battery's super dead. Some reason. 
charge. So therefore, I had to get some jumper cables. And we'll hook to it. But that battery is toast. Even though I know gold, we hate it. So I got some jumper cables. Let's hook to this baby. Oh. Time signal's on. Let's just see, uh, well, those are flashers. I said go wings do not like jumper cables. See if I can put the boost pack on the battery. The battery been sitting there for a while. Flasher button stuck. found the title. Let's take a closer look. I see some goodies. Which I doubt it'll be the title, but it could be. We got a toolkit. We got our owner's manual. 8500 gold wing 1200. Look like an old stereo kit. I smell the bad gas. Bluetooth radio. Let's 
So, no title, but we did have an owner's manual and we got a nice little tool kit. But I smell the bad gas. I thought we'd be able to spray something in it, but I don't know what's in these compartments. Fuse. This one here. Some safety glasses. <laughs> I don't know what's in this side. I had to take this strap off. I kind of figured it wasn't going to just fry it right up. I mean, what's the odds of that? So at least we know it ain't locked up. Like the one we had, that gold one. Brand new rear room mirror in the box. So I guess this was for this was for this side and then they broke off the other side which is in the back so but like I said we'll get it in there sometime or another drain the gas out of it and try and get it running get a good battery on it and uh, try and get it running off its own power source so y'all just keep looking out I tried I thought thought we can get it fired up but you know how that goes all right